While Schilling isn't going anywhere, a team of 11-year-olds is going on the road trip of their lives. Phil Andrews now has a great story. The Anderson Monarchs are about to embark on a journey that will take them back in time. A time when Negro League baseball players like Jackie Robinson barnstormed from town to town via bus. And just to make this trip more authentic, well, the Monarchs will make that journey on this 1947 reconditioned tour coach. We wanted to take a one hand, give me an experience on Jackie Robinson, and see what it was like back in the day when they had to stay on the bus. But it's going to be easier for us because we get to stay in hotels and eat in restaurants and stuff. First stop on this 13-day road trip, Brooklyn, New York, where Jackie Robinson once played for the Brooklyn Dodgers. From there, it's on to Cleveland to sample the All-Star festivities at FanFest before playing games in Detroit, Chicago, and Dyersville, Iowa, where the Monarchs will play on the Field of Dreams. A stop in Kansas City to visit the Negro League Museum before wrapping up their road trip with games in St. Louis, Louisville and Pittsburgh. Now, as you would expect, the accommodations on this 50-year-old bus not as luxurious as most buses you've probably been on. But then again, 50 years ago, when the Negro League players were traveling around the country, the accommodations weren't that great. To make matters worse, heck, this bus doesn't even have air conditioning. They understand that this is the way it was, that barnstorming wasn't sitting in a luxury bus with video screens and a bathroom and air conditioning. What part of the trip are you most looking forward to? Um, the farthest trip to Chicago. We're going to Cleveland in the All-Star game, watching the whole run derby. When we go to Iowa and play on a field of dreams. A field of dreams these youngsters will remember for the rest of their lives. Phil Andrews, Channel 6 Action News, South Philadelphia. And we're going to be able to follow them along. They're going to file a video diary uh -huh. <laughs> at each one of their stops. And we're going to see their home video right here on Action News. I can't oh. wait. I wish I was going along. That's the only problem. Oh, I love to be it. their photographer. You know? I'd go in a minute. It sounds <laughs> like right. a great trip. It sure does, right. Scott. Right, we begin our road reports from the Anderson Monarchs, a group of 11-year-olds traveling the country, barnstorming like they did for the first half of the century. And they do so to remember Jackie Robinson. Tonight, they travel from Philadelphia to Brooklyn, even visit the grave of Jackie Robinson. Channel 6 is on board, barnstorming with the Anderson Monarchs, of Philadelphia. Their cameraman, by the way, his name is Dion Williams. Hi, I'm Dion Williams. I'm going to be your cameraman for today. All these nice houses. Here's the better view of the Hudson River. The bar, our pitcher, Ali, and Steve Van Dora. How does it feel to be playing in this game in New York? Feels great, uh, is a big place, as you can see. If you live here, you know it's a big place. I uh, hope maybe the team is good so we can get a good show. something to him, what would it be? And we roll it down on the ball and pay it down on the grave. This is our first stop at Holiday Inn. And they rest up for their next stop, Cleveland, Ohio, the 1997 All-Star Festivities. Good right. job. Now it's time again to barnstorm with our favorite baseball team, the Anderson Monarchs. This club of 11-year-olds from South Philadelphia is touring the country, playing games and learning about the Negro League. Today, we find the Monarchs on the road to the All-Star Game. We're leaving our hotel in Dubois, Pennsylvania, and we're heading to Ohio. What do you think about Anthony? What? The bus drive. It's cool. We see a lot of places. Hey, fellas, I like the bus drive. This week, Cleveland hosted the 68th All-Star Game, and the Monarchs attended the always popular Fan Fest. Barn 
Barn Stormers checked out beautiful Jacobs Field in the All-Star Day workout. Come on, how does we be a girl for this? So it's great, my first time at a true All-Star Day. All right. Steve Bandura doing a great job with those kids. And isn't it great seeing young kids oh, yeah. playing with baseball cards again and not trying to find out how much they're worth, right. you know, yeah. just trading them. Exactly. Well All right. Said. That's great. Now, baseball like it ought to be. We've had great fun this week following the Anderson Monarchs, that South Philadelphia barnstorming team crisscrossing the country. We have given the Monarchs a video camera, and they are documenting this trip for us here at Action News. Tonight, Dwayne Wise is our cameraman as we catch up with the Monarchs in Motown. Hello, my name is Dwayne Watts. I'm going to be your cameraman for Detroit. This is the hotel we stayed in last night, the Crown Plaza. Now we're heading to the game. Third game. We're going to win the third game, too. Here's the team exercising. proud of this one. That was an excellent team we played here today. We stuck it out and we beat them. Now we had just arrived at Tiger Stadium. Those suckers filled and hit the roof. They went over. I did so. I got, I got the tape. Now we're entering the Tiger's dugout. It's the visitor's clubhouse. Now we have completed our tour of Tiger Stadium. Oh, you like the tour? I see it's Chicago. We love the tour. By the way, not only is it a great tour for these kids, they're playing great baseball. They're still unbeaten on this trip. Philadelphia oh. should be very proud of the Monarchs. We right? definitely are. Thank you very much, Scott. I love that. Well, this has been a great week for our new favorite baseball team. The 11-year-old Anderson Monarchs are barnstorming the country, playing games, and learning about the Negro League. Along the way, they've been filing reports with our Action News Kid Cam. The week began in New York with a visit to Jackie Robinson's grave, and from there they have traveled west in their custom bus to the Windy City, where tonight we meet up with the Monarchs. This is Chicago with 3-0. We're going for number four, Chicago, Illinois. What's up, man? Chicago, Chicago, back to Tottles in town. Chicago. Chicago, I'll show you around. The Monarchs saw the skyline, Soldier Field where the Bears play, and also the shores of Lake Michigan. But they were in even deeper water on the diamond. The Monarchs suffered their first loss against the Chicago Blue Jays, scoring 11 to 2. The land of Red lives in my soul. Come on, Cubbies, let the good times roll. The Monarchs Day wrapped up at Wrigley. Come on, Cubbies, let the good times roll. America's team, so I've been told. Come on, Cubbies, let the good times roll. playing that day, but the Monarchs did walk right by some of the team's